Oh, um, um, this is interesting. Like, uh, is it like, uh, definitely usable. Definitely usable. What, what, what? Yeah. You think there's like maybe like a alternative like industry this guy uh, use these things for? Well, I can't imagine he'd use a bulldozer to plow his fields. <laughs> I've seen the worst things. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah no i he definitely used them though look how dirty need, they are do you think we might, we might need to explore outside of town a little bit see what's going on with that yeah, this is a nice truck over here too do you think maybe he just bought these and is just a hoarder or he's working on them to sell them or something um i, I don't know they look pretty used yeah the keys in them Yep, keys are in this one. I'm not going to try to start it, but keys are in this one, too. Keys in the truck. The interior of this thing is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, yeah, there's definitely keys here. But, uh, I don't know, we'll, 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 we'll want to get a, maybe a mechanic to look at it and see yeah. if it's good to, you know. Yep. All right. Something like that. Well, I'm going to get the tractor parked then and get back to cultivating, I suppose. Welcome back, everyone. Farmer Cop here. This is going to be episode two of Rogue River Valley with Trucker Matsy. And we may have another guest joining us later, but we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, again, we're doing some mostly normal farming stuff on this series, so nothing too crazy. But as you remember last episode, we discovered a few things in here. Not sure what they're all about. We'll figure that out later. Uh, Trucker Matsy, I think, went into town. Um, he went uh, into town to see if he can get some supplies or something. He didn't take his truck, which is kind of interesting, but... Uh, to be fair, uh, the town is literally right there. So he might have just been looking around or going to get something to eat. But uh, what we're going to do in the meantime is we are going to take the quad track out and we're going to hopefully get that uh, field out here plowed or cultivated. Words are hard. Um, we're going to get out there and get that done. So that way, oh gosh, well, we're going to hit that car first. That's what I wanted to do. All good. All good. Okay. We're going to head out there and... Uh, we gotta get used to using keyboard and mouse on a server again. But, uh, we're gonna get out there and get this field cultivated because we need to get it cultivated into the ground. And I'm not sure what we're gonna plant. Matsy and I will talk about it. We might do some soybeans or something, but we'll kind of see. Um, if we look at the crop calendar, though, um, in terms of, we're, I mean, we're not gonna be able to plant obviously until next year, which is fine. We plowed under the cotton. We got the sorghum harvested last time, which is in storage, and then we have, oh goodness, what else is growing? We have soy growing right now, which makes sense for us. So. Um, and that won't be ready to harvest um, until October, it looks like. So what we'll probably do is just, uh, we'll probably just get all this stuff ready to go in terms of uh, planting for next year. So we'll get this cultivating done. Um, and then next year we might plant some soy or something, depending on what we want to do. That just is the equipment we have. Uh, we'll see if we buy any other equipment in the meantime or anything like that. But um, for now, this is what we got. So. I'm going to go ahead and get this done. I'm going to put a cut in here and I'll bring you guys back in when something else changes, happens, or anything like that. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, we're finishing up this row. We're going to get one more row here. Let's see what. Oh, well, we're going to cultivate the road a little bit. But that's okay. Maybe all, everything's going to be fine. I think we'll be able to be just fine if we head right, right across here, get this last little strip here so we can plant the whole area when we're ready to do that. And then we'll go get this put away. And um, I haven't seen Matsy walk back but I also haven't really been paying too close attention to be honest so um, we'll go see if he's home or anything yet but uh truck hasn't moved but of course he walked into town not sure why but again we'll figure that out when he gets back so um, he might have just wanted a nice little stroll through town so can't blame him for that um, there we go we'll get this done here we'll lift this baby up get it folded and then we can put this away and then we'll see if uh Matsy is home at all can't imagine he's gonna be on for too long. We got probably got stuff we gotta get done. I know we've got a lot done on the farm so far the first day, but we need to come up with some strategy for what we're gonna do in the meantime. I'm hoping we might be able to do some grass work or something like that, look into some of that sort of stuff. So we may be able to do that, but let's get this put away. Uh, we should be able to just back it in to the barn here, if at all possible. There we go. Slow but sure. We probably need to get in our tractor too, because this one's not really well suited for uh, grass work. There we go. And I'll just uh, we'll actually just park this tractor in here as well. Might as well keep it in the in the shed out of the light. 
Let's go check the house real quick and see if Matthew's home. Don't see him in the garage there. Let's go in. Matsy? Nope, don't see him. Nope, not in the bathroom, office, laundry room. Oh, Matsy, not up here, not in the rooms. All right, well, not they don't think he's home yet. He's not sleeping, so um, I guess we'll just kind of take a break and wait out on the porch until he gets home. So yeah, we'll just chill here and hopefully he pulls up here soon. Hmm, there he is. Look at that thing. Where'd you get this thing? Um, I uh, got a deal on it. How much did you I pay for it? It's like five thousand dollars. Oh wow, <laughs> that's a pretty good deal on it. Yeah. Um, new is like uh, was it fifteen thousand? So it's not not terribly great, but you know it's some that. If we need to like just grab something real quick, bring out to the farm or wherever we can do that without having to drive the, the, the truck into the field and stuff like that. So Well perfect. I yeah. figured Yeah. I just figured we'd uh give it a try and if not, we'll just, you know, sell it to somebody else. That sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah. Looks like it's in pretty decent shape too. But Yeah. Yeah. Well awesome. Um Yeah. Well, sweet. That makes sense why you didn't take the truck into town. You yeah, find... yeah. I, I, uh, I, I planned on getting something a little extra so that we both, you know, we only have one truck if we need to do some stuff. You know, somebody can take this or whatever. And, you know, I can't just take the truck and bring it back with another vehicle in it. That, so That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, sweet. I got the other field cultivated. That way that's all done for us. Oh, yeah. Finally got that done. Yep, I finally got that done. Yeah. yeah, I did this one faster than the last one I did. I'm getting well, better. That's, that's good. That is definitely good. But, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, do you think we should do some grass work? You know, I, I, was, I was driving by there, and it definitely looks like, A, it needs a good cutting, and B, that we could do something with it, you know. Well, yeah. I think we might, I think we might need to... Uh, uh, lease or borrow some items to be able to get it done right now because of our current uh, situation but yeah it'll make it it'll, it'll help us get through that's true now that's true well so, who, do you want to drive out there and see how much grass we got out there we might as well oh, i kind yeah. of want to ride in the new uh the new you want to ride here. it or drive it oh i want to ride in it i'm gonna let you drive <laughs> you see me drive i'm gonna crash it well there is that hey look you grew a little bit <laughs> I'm no longer sitting on the floorboard as when I am in the truck. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Yeah, this doesn't go too fast, does it? No, but uh, you know, if we're cruising around, we probably won't hit any trees, so this might just be, suit you just right. That's true. Yeah, I might not. It might be crash proof for me, but this is holy. We own all this land. All this land, all the way up to the field. Holy smokes! We should make some yeah. silage. Yeah, I think that might be the way to go. Um, Do you think a we local, should? Uh, no, sorry, around here that can use them. So. Okay. Do you think we should do uh, bales or get like one of those fermenting silos? Uh, silos is gonna be an actual construction that we can't really uh, afford at the moment. So I think we'll do uh, the bales, honestly. Okay. Yeah, we could probably get some uh, stuff to move them around and stuff. That's not ours. Is it the hayloft? It is. Oh, it wow. is. It is part of the property. I did not even know we had this out here. So we could probably do some hay too and uh, keep some for ourselves if we wanted to. Yeah. But uh, for now, I think, I think you know, grass will grow again. So maybe we'll just do all the silage at this point. We'll yeah, see. that'd be great. That'd be great. I think that'd be good. Eventually, if we wanted to, we could put some fields in here, but I don't think we're really yeah. in a position to do that now. So if we just get uh, get some, get at least make some money off of this, because we definitely need more money. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But so uh, I think that'd be the uh, the plan, honestly. All right. Well, maybe we'll go into town later and talk about maybe getting some mower setups and uh, a baler of some kind and see if we can't get that squared away. Oh, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Well, sweet. Awesome. And this thing drives, drives smooth, though. I will say that. It is smooth. It's I feel like not I, jerky. I feel like I'm riding steering. a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering where my, my clubs are. 
Uh, I think we forgot to bring those, didn't we? <laughs> Probably. Do you know oh, anything boy. about that equipment? Like what that, like, I don't, all the stuff in the shed. Like, what do you think about all that? Yeah, it, well, let's, uh, let's take a look once again here. It is very peculiar, viewer, for sure. Yeah. It's like, definitely not used regularly for farming. Yeah, like this thing here. I mean, they had the wagons here. We don't need this if there's, you know, had the wagon. So it must be something. It definitely looks, uh, like it's been used roughly. Yeah. <laughs> like not in the regular field work. So and well, we're in the mountainous area. So let me see if I can get the it fires up. We know that. Let's see if I can get that cover open. Maybe there's something. Well, there's nothing in it, but it looks like it's been hauling like rocks around, which is kind of odd. Like there's a few, hmm. like there's like almost like little pieces of gravel in there or something. So yeah, it's that's interesting. So they're definitely not using it to haul crops. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, I would hope not with how dirty it is. <laughs> 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 and you got these things over here, which maybe the can that Volvo lift up into there? Uh, it. Well, there's only one way to find out, I guess. I mean, uh oh, I better I step back here. Yeah, I would step back oh, yeah. for sure. It gets up there. Is it going higher? Oh. Yeah, it goes higher. Okay. Yeah, that could get up in there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, easy peasy. Okay, so we're starting to put the puzzle together, I guess. But what in the world would they need yeah. the bulldozer for? Even if he was moving rocks or dirt and stuff on the side. Maybe, maybe there's just getting a more manageable position for that. I, I honestly. That could be true. But we might is, need to have some conversations with some people in town just to see. There's got to be someone that knew the old guy and knew what he was doing out here. Don't you think? Yeah, something like that for sure. Yeah, because I can't imagine he's just doing some simple dirt and rock stuff, at least on the yeah. side, because he wouldn't buy a... I mean, this is an expensive bulldozer. Yeah, exactly. So, well, anyhow. I, I suppose what's, uh, let's, let's find about, about getting some equipment and start getting some grass done. That sounds good. Yeah, I think if we... Should we take the truck, maybe, so it drives a little faster into town? I'll ride back to the yeah. farm, though, with you. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll, we'll get there before... I mean, we'll get there by nightfall, and the store will be closed. <laughs> well there's definitely that oh man we can park it in the garage too honestly yeah we, we want could. to here I'll, I'll hop out and get the door might be a piece of junk but at least we can keep it less I less, don't know yeah less where yeah <laughs> alright well let's uh Head over to the store. Head into town, yeah. All right. All right, so I think, did we get everything we need? I believe they said that we have all we need. It's, I don't like the leasing price, but, you know, it is what it is. That's true, but at um, least they have a, a lease to own program, so we should own it after a while. Yeah, yeah, legit. So that, that'll that be good. Um, But yeah, I guess uh, let's go check out, out our equipment, shall we? Yeah. All right, so this is what we got, guys. Komodo tracker. A fast bailer, giant software branded. That's the mod by Mark Thor, right? Yes. Yep, off the mod hub. And then uh, and the Komodo tracker, that's from the DLC, right? Yeah, it is. It okay, is. That's what I figured. And then we got ourselves a nice big Krona. And then this thing is really cool. Or not, I oh, gosh, I hopped into the wrong vehicle. I still I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't get in. There we go. Now I'm in the right vehicle, um, but this thing is uh, pretty cool. It's a bale loader, holds 18 bales, so it's kind of cool that it's independent of itself. And this is actually cheaper to lease this setup here, this old truck, than it was to lease the uh, in-game bale thing, which I'll I'll just show them real quick what I'm talking about because my words are not working. This thing right here, the Anderson RBM 2000 thing, or 20,000, whatever it is. But yeah, so yeah, I guess, uh, do you want to... the half the price. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Do you want to mow because, or do you want to, or are you strongly in favor of bailing? Are you better at making the lines or following the lines? I'm not good at either, but I think I can follow them easier than I can make them. 
<laughs> all right, all right. Well, there is that. All right, so I'll go ahead and make the lines then. Okay, and I will follow the lines. So I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do probably two headlands and then go up and down from there. Okay, perfect. I'll just follow you. I'm gonna get the the baler hooked up, then I'll put some silage additive in it. All right, sounds good. And then you just go ahead and start. I should be able to catch up to you pretty easily. Yeah. Just well, make sure you put that thing I, I, on on swath mode. Oh yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I do that? I'm just making sure. That's something I would forget, so I'm just trying to help you out. Because I would definitely <laughs> forget it. Oh, I think the salad out of the things on our side here. There we go. Get this guy loaded up with some salad jet. It actually should hold quite a bit. It actually probably hold a whole pallet, honestly. Okay, how much do we have left in that? Okay, 10 liters. All right, let's head over and uh, we'll turn on the automatic drop. Oh, it's on. Perfect. I think I already turned it on, so we're good there. We'll find out where... We'll go this way to see kind of where Matsy started out. I didn't follow him because I was busy trying to get silage jet out of them in this stupid thing. We don't own this field, I know, but land starts up over this way. Hopefully the farmer doesn't mind us running through here. Oh, he of course started at the other end. That's okay. <laughs> typical, typical. We'll get it. Uh, we'll get it all done. This thing should work pretty effectively at getting all this uh, bailed up for us. Hopefully we'll get plenty of bales off of it. It should be able to hopefully keep up with us a little bit there. Nancy's already made it all the way around the field there, but we do. I mean, we're going to get a lot of silage bales off of this. So this should be, this should be great for us. Silage prices are looking pretty good too. We take a look here online, what people are paying for it. Yeah, 271, 283, 422. Goodness, if we take it to the train sale point. But I think that's going to mean we have to load it on the train potentially right down there. I'm not sure if we actually can, not sure how we can do that or not. I think this thing is not, it's not burning through the uh, silage out of that very quickly. So we should be good to go with that for, this should definitely be more than enough to get this whole thing done. Yeah, Matsy's cooking over there. We're definitely gonna be a little behind. That's okay. Might be able to speed us up to uh, maybe nine miles an hour. Hey, did you, uh turn up the uh, bale size on that thing? No, I did not. Uh, probably do that now, because that will actually help you go a little bit faster. Yes, that will. That would be really smart, wouldn't it? Yes. I knew that, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Obviously. Well, I tell you what, it's weird. These bales have a much bigger capacity now. Just the weirdest thing. There we go. Big bales. We may actually go. Let's run over to the store real quick. We're going to go grab. Actually, we'll do it once we get around here. But I'm going to say what we should do is. Uh, well, those are obviously bigger. So that should be a little bit easier to distinguish. But we should try to get the small bales set out separate. Oh, we don't have to deal with them. Well, we'll deal with them still. But we'll know which ones are which and all that good stuff. You like how they increase in size as they come out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is funny. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, the truck real quick and pick yeah, up all grab those. the small ones. Yeah, get all those out of the way. I'm excited to try this thing out, too. Ooh, this thing goes fast. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm hoping it loads them up faster than but it loads them up faster as well. This thing says it can go 111 miles an hour. Oh boy. Yep, I'm already up to 80. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is way better than... Uh, 
using a tractor. <laughs> and it's nice too, because then we don't have a tractor occupied. Right. And this thing you can makes it easy to transport them around town too. Legit. Though we are gonna have to probably set them down somewhere while they ferment, huh? Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna make sure it's not gonna grab a big one at the same time. Yep, okay, perfect. That's what I thought. Okay, I got 12 small bales. I will set them somewhere over on the farm. Yeah, maybe set it on one side of a barn or something like that, or, and we'll have a, the other one sitting in the other areas so they don't get. That yeah, would be up. perfect. I'll set them on the. Yeah, I'll set them over here. Well. Yeah, this will be fine. Oh, this this stacks them straight up and down. Oh, nice. That's really nice. I was not expecting that. I can't wait to see that do that with the big bales. Is there something? Maybe it's something I'm doing wrong too, but it won't let me go faster than nine, even with large capacity on. Uh, that's weird. Yeah. Oh, it's toggle speed limit. Never mind. We got to figure it out now. <laughs> Don't you worry about me, Matsy. From the worst farm we got, but we'll get it figured out. <laughs> oh boy! And you're you're the one that teaches everybody how to play farm sim. Well, I teach them how to do it the right way, not this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's it. All right, everyone. Well, we are getting we are making some really good progress. We are getting so many bales. We have so far. Let's see, we're still making a couple more. We got just this last row here. We're at one thirteen right now. Let's see after we get uh, this will be 114 right there. And then I think that's going to be it. Yep. So 114 bales, which is craziness. Matsy finished up all the mowing a little bit. So we just finished all the baling. So let's go ahead and get this guy folded up. We'll get back over to the farm. And then uh, Matsy's currently out and about. You can see him right there driving that truck, which that thing really scoots. They got a big engine in that thing. And he's out there picking up some of the bales right now. So. That's all good to go there, but uh, yeah, so in terms of all that, I'll probably bring you guys back in once we get uh, this done here, and then uh, we'll call it good for an episode, I think, at that point, but yeah, I'm going to go get this parked, and we'll keep rock and rolling, so see you guys here in just a bit. Is that the last load? It is. Uh, how you doing? Uh, good. I do have a question for you. I I just got a text message from our bank. It was a, uh, a fraud alert. They said that someone took $57,000 out of our account, so we might have to go down and talk to them. Did you? You didn't spend that uh, much, did you? Oh, um, I, I might have. Uh, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. You spent $57,000 on what? No, it, it, it's, it's cool. It's, it's, it's for the farm. It, it's fine. Oh, my goodness. 